So A Quiet Place is a movie about the post-apocalyptic world where alien creatures get to hunt not by sight, but by sound. Now, Although the new trailer coming up for the part 2 didn't really show much about a new movie, I'm going to show you two ways you can survive in A Quiet Place. Now, The first way, which is pretty straightforward, but if you do it the wrong way, you're going to die, is to soundproof your house. Now, Because these creatures have very sensitive hearing, it is very important that you make sure whatever sound you make inside the house cannot be heard outside. The Orpheal Laboratories in Minneapolis, United States is actually a great example. It has the perfect anechoic chamber with walls that absorb 99.99% sound from the inside. Not only is this because of the fiberglass material on top that effectively absorbs sound, it is also because of their very special geometric design that reflects sound waves up and down and dissipate their energy. Now I know such high-end product is probably not available in our hometown, but acoustic forms in sound studios or mineral woods from construction stores are actually great materials to start with. Now when you soundproof your house, it is very important that you not only cover up your walls, but also your ceiling and your floor. That is because not only can this protect you from all directions, just in case the creatures barge into your house, you can still better hide yourself from them because any sound that has to travel round corners or bounce off walls will probably be absorbed a great deal and cannot be heard. So as long as you do not stand right in front of them and make noise, you will probably be fine. The second way to survive a quiet place is more counterintuitive. It is called sound masking. Instead of keeping quiet, we gonna make noise. Let me explain. Our brain perceives all sound we can hear, but for a sound to catch our attention, it needs to be more different than the others. We call it deviant sound. Now, this deviant sound is exactly what the alien creatures depend on to hunt. It is a sudden change of sound in the environment, and it only works well when the environment is relatively quiet. In a place that is already pretty loud, this deviant sound would have to be even louder. This explains why in the first movie, the father and the son can make noise without being heard around the waterfall. You may wonder why they don't simply just move their house to the waterfall in that case. Well, some other videos reason that you didn't need a food and supply at their own farm, which is actually true, but that's actually one important factor we may have missed out, which is sound frequency. Our ears, and probably those of the aliens, involve cochlear that can filter sound at different frequencies separately. When two sounds of similar frequencies, they will be processed at the same place in our cochlear and perceived as one sound instead of two. This is when sound masking can work. But if two sounds have different frequencies, they will be processed separately in our ears and perceived as two sounds instead of one. This is when sound masking will not work. For example, if we were having a conversation nearby the waterfall, our voice will be masked by the water because both of them belong to the low frequency sound range. But imagine the four-year-old who died in the first movie playing with a space shuttle next to the waterfall. The creatures can probably still hear the high frequency sound from a toy pretty easily. So what should we do? Well, it is time to build ourselves something called a sound masking system. I know it sounds very fancy, but it's basically just a set of speakers playing white noise, which sounds like this. But unlike the waterfall, it is actually more effective in sound masking because it contains signals from all frequencies, including high frequencies. And it will act as a sound shield by increasing the background noise in your house, so that you can feel safe talking over dinner, eat something crispy, and play Monopoly the right way. I know this method may be risky because it can attract creatures to your house when you first start the system. But remember that they are attracted not by sound, but the change of sound. And because white noise is something consistent that doesn't change over time, it will quickly blend into the environment and become unnoticeable. This sound masking system can also be used outdoors in a farm. Although it is something stationary that cannot be carried around, it can still allow you to lower your guard when you're in your neighborhood and at least try to live a normal life. In the next video, we're going to talk about what we can do to actively take on the creatures in a quiet place. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you 
next time.